Hi, I'm Carl Jacobson. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do some creative stuff with the CA and also a couple tips for making your CA last longer. Let's get started. I carved out a couple little tree shapes and with this one I'm going to inlay some pearl in with the star bond and to create a neat little effect. I've done that a couple of times. It works very well. And on this one I'm just going to use black and inlay some of that in there. A couple little tips real quick. When you're using the, the glue, after you're, you're done applying it, wipe it off with a paper towel. That way the the tubes don't clog up and all of the two ounce tubes come with two extra tips too so in case it, in case you do forget and it get, gets clogged up another tip too is if you're not using it put it in the refrigerator this stuff has a shelf life of 33 months but store it in the refrigerator and it will last a long time all right i'm going to go ahead and do the the pearl one first so i have a little bit of pearl here i did this on a Lichtenberg piece a while back and it looked really cool so I'm just gonna fill in a little bit and I'm gonna go a little bit at a time so it doesn't set up too fast and just put a little bit of pearl in there and I'll just keep working my way up but worked very well and then once you get it get it full you just sand it back I've been using the Star Bond for a few months now and it's an excellent CA glue. Does a very nice job. And this is something, you know, just to, for a little embellishment too. It works great for fixing cracks and for a for a CA finish. I did a couple CA finishes on um, um, some gear shift knobs I made a while back. It worked very nice kind of struggled with that for a couple of years trying to get a decent ca finish but I, with the help of some other people on youtube i finally think i got it there we go and if you want to add add some more um to keep filling it in you can just keep doing that to add in some more over the top of it And you can do this with, with different things too. You don't have to just use the, the pearl. But it gives it a really cool effect. So let that set up. All right, I'm going to wipe the tip off and put the cap back on. All right, where that's setting up, we can go ahead and move over and do the black one. So with this, I'm just gonna put on uh, a few thin coats and let it set up and then keep reapplying it. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna hit this with the sander and sand it all flush. This is a piece of myrtle wood. And just go nice and slow so it doesn't puddle up in one spot. And this is the, the thick. The thin will set up very fast. This stuff gives you a little bit of time to work with it. But just nice, nice and easy. And if, you, if it does puddle up or if it's not level, you can always when you sand it, it'll just sand right back down, so you don't have to worry about it too much, but you don't want to waste a bunch of it either. Then tip off. All right, I'll let that set up for a little bit, and then I think I'm going to put a little bit more in this one after it sets back up. But CA uh, works great. I'll sand this up here in a second and, and show you the results. But the Star Bond works fantastic. Um, like I said, it comes with a uh, couple extra tips on the two ounce bottles. And I think with the black, you can really do some neat stuff with it. Maybe highlight some, some natural cracks that are in, in the wood as well. 
So it's very very neat that I haven't seen uh, anybody else have a have a black one like that. But the the clear and they have medium thick and, and thin. So if you have a little bit of punky wood or uh, something like that, you can use the super thin to kind of stabilize that as well. But that is really about it. Um, I'll add a little bit more to that and then sand it back and then uh, show you show you the results here in a second. There we go. I used a random orbital sander to sand it smooth. Just some different ideas for doing some inlay work with it. I really like the black, the way it gives it that silhouette of effect to it. I did a bowl a couple months ago and I used the Lichtenberg machine to burn it and then inlay the pearl into it. On this one, I didn't sand it smooth. I left it kind of rough. I like, kind of like that effect on it, but it's really nice. I've been using the Starbond CA for a couple months now and it works fantastic. And I hope the couple of tips about uh, lengthening the life of it helped out. Till next time, take care.